I just got my voice back um, last week. I had a little cold, and uh, and I hardly ever lose my voice, but last week I did. As of Friday, I couldn't even couldn't even speak. It was really hoarse, like I couldn't speak. And uh, I just prayed. I said, "Oh Lord, I gotta be ready for Sunday." Saints were praying, and uh, so Friday night. Um, Jada Lynn and I were, and Krista were talking. Jada Lynn's her next play is called um, The Little Mermaid. And if you don't know anything about it, I didn't because until I had a little girl in the thing. She loses her voice, or she sells her voice to the Sea Witch. That's Jada Lynn's character, the Sea Witch. <laughs> and so, in order to become a human, the Little Mermaid had to give her a beautiful voice up. But at the end, she gets her voice back. She says, ah. That's what I was doing <laughs> on Friday. I was like, ah. And Jada Lynn said, Daddy, stop it. All that I She don't want me. I know. So, it's, it's not as powerful as it usually is, but. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's getting there, so just bear with me. All right, all right. Thank you all for being here. Today is Sunday, the 16th of February, 2020. Uh, I, I entitled today's message, To Profit With All, and that's from a passage in 1 Corinthians 12, verse 7, where we're going to start. Uh, just a couple of announcements. Pray, thanking the Lord for his marvelous grace. Be in prayer for your brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, Fernando and, and uh, his little girl is here, it's along with Brother Larry from Oakland. But his wife, uh, Fernando's wife, Talani, Sister Talani, is, is under the weather. So be in prayer for her. She, she wasn't able to make the trip. You know, she, she misses being here. Mm -hmm. And uh, Catherine let us know that Henry, her and Henry's son, David, is over in Vietnam right now. She says she's thinking about him we're, like any mother would. So let's be in prayer mm -hmm. for Brother David, uh, our young, young brother in the Lord. Uh, he's visiting friends there in Vietnam. Uh, pray for your civil authorities as well. We have our normal Q&A this, this afternoon. Uh, I had to leave a little bit early. It wasn't feeling well last Sunday. Written offering, we have to pay the expense of the ministry here. It's just a box for you guys. Folks who get, uh, who get something from this ministry, you can do that online uh, at NorCalGrace.com. And then uh, pray for us and give, and you can do it through the P.O. box as well. We have Toby and Michelle here. I thought, it, I thought this was going to be the last week we had them with us. They're moving on to uh, Oregon, Portland, Oregon. Uh, Toby's fam uh, family is out there, sons and so forth. So uh, we, we, we wish them nothing but the best Godspeed. But we got it. We get an extra bonus. You guys are going to be here next Sunday, right? Well, well, and so uh, until the end of the month. So we get a next uh, extra Sunday for, for you guys, for, with, with you guys. But be in prayer for Toby and Michelle as they make that move. Uh, one of the things, Toby has a heart to, for teaching the Lord's word as well. And maybe he can get something started. But really, it's best for his sons. He wants to get his sons in the grace message as well. So we'll be in prayer for you guys. And then, oh yeah, just got a text from Brother Doug from Hampton, Virginia. He told me this morning, well, I wrote it up. Let's see what he says here. He says, hi, Brother Ron. Thanks for, you, for your and the saints' labor in the ministry. I'm planning on visiting NorCal Grace in California with LaShawn and her mom on March 13th through the 16th. So they'll be in town uh, 313 to 316. And that means on Sunday the 15th, I think that's right, right? Sunday 315, they'll all be visiting the ministry. So please put that on your calendar. I think it's exactly four weeks from today. Yeah, because it's 29. So four weeks from today, Sunday the 15th, Doug, LaShawn, and LaShawn's mom. Doug is from Hampton, Virginia. LaShawn and her mom are from Washington, D.C. Doug visited us before, but Sister LaShawn, she, she's watching this right now, I'm sure. And uh, she's a friend to our ministry, a sister in the Lord on the, on the East Coast. She's going to be here as well. And her mom. Where's, where's Craig? You heard from Craig? Yeah, I don't know. I'm surprised he's not here yet. Oh, okay. Because anytime I think East Coast, I think Brother Craig, he'll be here. Uh, he's from New Jersey, as you guys know. He, he, he moved here from New Jersey. So. Put that on your calendar. We'd love to invite them out to uh, uh, California. This will be Doug's uh, second time. I'm not sure if LaShawn's been here. I don't think so. I was even thinking with Ryan. Fernando, since you're here, maybe that Saturday, uh, the 14th, I'll, I'll talk with Ryan. Ryan does his markets out in San Francisco, and I'm not sure if Doug's been out there, and uh, maybe we'll, we'll we'll have a little, we'll meet up there. Maybe we'll go to his market and do some stuff out there. We can do it too, Larry sure. too, if he wants. 
So that'll be the 14th. That'll be a Saturday. I'll just take off with my seniors. So we'll, we'll plan something for them. They, they won't be here long. It'll be pretty brief, but we can make the most of it. They can have, hopefully, we we'll get some good weather like this too. All right, let's get into our time of study, if you will. First Corinthians chapter number 12. Oh, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's right. See, this thing discombobulated. We're going to... See, I haven't seen Brother Larry all, yeah. all year. Yeah. 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 Every time I see Fernando, I say, we're Brother yeah. Larry. we got to have him oh, seen. We're going gonna to bring Larry up. Oh, yeah. um, yeah. um, he was just busy. That's all it was. Let me... Let me uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... Yeah, let's bring Larry up. Come on, Larry. Come on, man. I'm ready. Let's do it. Get our hearts ready. Come on, come on, come on up. Brother Larry from Oakland is going to share a song to get our hearts prepared. Right. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> okay, today I can go. Uh, this is the song I've known since I was a child, so it'd be pretty easy to do. Um, it it has new meaning to me because I now live in a dispensation of the grace of God, and I know it, but before we would just sing the song. No. And so um, it's, um, it's a typical uh, song that you hear from a traditional church, but the words are true. And so that's why I don't have a problem singing it. And it's simply grace, that's all it is. That, that's the whole song. <clears throat> grace, grace, God's grace, His grace is sufficient for me every day. Grace, grace, God's grace, His grace. subscribe if you're not subscribing 40% of our viewers are not subscribers so if you can subscribe that really helps and it's something simple you can do to get the help get the message of, of right division and Paul's apostleship out there at, to like the videos and subscribe and uh, I was also going to mention something that a lot of people don't know about that's good when you study online on the YouTube videos is that there's a little uh, button in the settings that you can speed up the video 
So sometimes you can make it to like you know one one uh, point twenty five speed or Just one and a half speed. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you can get more information than if you if you're able to hear it and understand. You can watch more videos yeah. quicker. You know, and get more information. In. So that's a good yeah. thing. And uh, Bush Craig was here because I was going to ask him about this, but he he said I asked him uh, concerning coming to you know leaving leaving where he was living and coming right. and being part of the assembly. Right. Like what percentage of of understanding was he getting from the videos That's compared to oh, compared yeah. to here, and he That's said deep. he said compared to what he's getting now and understanding now, he felt that watching the videos he was only getting ten to fifteen percent. I believe that. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, because the interaction, right? right. The, interaction, right. the actual working, but God made the dynamic of yeah. live fellowship. And I hear that from a lot of folks. So that's a good testimony from, a good testimony. from somebody who, who maybe like many people who are watching YouTube and, and are you know following, and getting information and getting knowledge about the Bible. Well, you're going to get so much more if you come and be part of the assembly. So that's why we put these videos out here. We want to help you be part of this assembly. And, and if you want to be like Craig and make the move and other folks that, that drive from you know hours away, mm -hmm. it's worth it because you will grow in your understanding. Just it's you can't even compare. You, I, you can't. You, you're right. But it's a whole different dynamic. The Apostle Paul assumes saints get together in one place. He says in chapter 11, 1 Corinthians, right? And he just assumes they're getting together. God made the dynamic to profit with all. Excuse me, that's right. To profit with all. So, um, and we're just going to start with that. But it is it is a different dynamic. And if Craig's saying from listening to videos back in New Jersey mm -hmm. to come in, moving here and being part of assembly, mm -hmm. he was only getting, in his estimate, only 10 to 15 percent of, of the, the dynamic the spiritual dynamic that God set up that's huge mm -hmm. and, and I and I I would say over my years in ministry I, I get that from people you know especially when they come and visit they say whoa it's way different than uh, being a part but we, 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 we do these videos and Ryan posts the videos to help as much as we can to be gracious to others I had a brother ask me he says why do you guys post that I said really ultimately is to get people to come to be part mm -hmm. of the fellowship that's the main thing to be gracious mm -hmm. to you all Speaking of, but folks appreciate us doing that. Um, this is from Sister Lori down in Southern California. And uh, just recently I began, um, because I, of the number of questions I get, I have to send them to a central place. Sometimes I get text questions, email questions, phone uh, messages, blah, blah, everywhere. And so I, I have one central place because of the time it does take, and, and that's at Subscribestar. And uh, you just go to subscribe star and just put in my name, Ron Knight. And I'll tell you the, the URL. That's right. That's and another thing. Putting it up on the screen, too. Tinyurl.com forward slash Ron Knight. Thank you. And make sure you mention. Thank you, Ron. I'm going to start so, putting it in the description, too, of the video. So you can just, it'll be the first thing you can oh, click on. That'd be all, yeah. That's awesome. That's easy. And so we get saints to appreciate our ministry. Um, and they'll write cards and letters. A lot of times they'll text or give emails or voice messages. But sometimes they'll just write. And... Um, Sister Lori says, Dear Brother Ron, thank you for the sacrifice of your precious time to prepare, preach, and answer questions. And now, subscribe star. I'm so grateful, and she subscribed there. I am so grateful for this opportunity to have my questions answered, and in doing so, lay the foundation for the building up of the mind of Christ in us. I thank God for you all every day, and for my brothers and sisters at NorCal Grace, grace and peace, Sister Lori. So, although, you know, truth is, is not desired in these last days as much. And, and we're just a small group of folks here as grace believers, but we are appreciated around the, the world. So um, we're gonna keep fighting the good fight of faith, okay? And one, one more thing I wanted to say is a shout out to Brother Armando. I talked to him this week. Brother Armando and he's he's uh, working with us to make the intro to the commentary uh, series we did on the four gospels. Mm -hmm. So he's gonna use, he, he does a, his um, YouTube channel is Go Rightly Divide. Mm -hmm. And he does uses this program that has cool kind of animations and, and stuff. So he's he's, yeah. he's using those talents to help us have a cool intro for these uh, videos that are going to be coming up, I where we're discussing that. the different verses of the Gospels. He's out in North Carolina, right? Mm -hmm. I just talked to a, a saint in North Carolina this week. Mm -hmm. This one, she was in uh, Greensboro. Is that that's a place? Greensboro? Mm -hmm. Am I making that up? Greensboro, North Carolina. So hopefully, uh, maybe they could uh, get together and see and and. Uh, uh, fellowship a little bit. But uh, anyway, yeah, thank you, Brother Mondo, for that, helping us out.